<laughs> you know what month it is? It's <laughs> But Japanese EU recently celebrates Halloween early once again through this year's Halloween upbeat. Side note, I've changed the format of my video, so let me know what you think. So, let's check what's up. First off, we have new monster hidden potentials for Yorarion. I'm sure I butchered that 100%. White Rabbit of Love, Tequila, and Golden God of Love, Frigga. And then there was some size adjustments for some monsters. I guess they were too big or too small for Shuten, Doji, and Amaya. So, the potentials. Here. So for Frigga, it increases stats selected in stats up to by 8,000. Light defense for munition damage plus 300. Increases stats selected in stats up 1 by 8,000. And paralyzed resistance plus 30. Then for Tequila, increases stats selected in stats slot 1 by 8,000. And then Unison Effect Boost, increases the success value by 25 and the ability power by 40. Of the 110 ability power attack that deals physical star damage 10 times at success value 75. Basically, it's one of those potentials wherein the monster starts off as like less than 100% success value and then the potential corrects it to 100. <laughs> so, the third pot is stats on two, and then the fourth pot is just the uh, magic since she hits like 20 times. So, Guild Raid is gonna come back soon. It's the same old, this time it's Dark Element. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. So next, ah, oh, these things. So they're back as packs again. Here. So last year they did this, and I remember in the forums, I actually went and complained that this is gonna be a bad idea if they did this at global. So I'm not sure if you're gonna do it this way in global or it's gonna be a limited time quest again. But it's back. And then there's also this for your pets. Here. And then we have the overview of the whole event. So this one is the spawn monster. And then the dude is the event monster. So, as you can see, these are the login bonuses, and then they're boosting the SR rates for the sub effects. Do you guys remember this update? <laughs> so, these are the rates before the boost, and then after the boost, 41.68%. Nice. Next one. You can check here. Oh, they're not applied yet, but on the next roll, which is a couple hours from now, as of this recording, the rewards for the missions are double. As you can see here, instead of the usual 30, it's 60 fragments, then two gems here, and these are back. In the cosmetic shop. So they're kind of pricey, but it's Halloween, so I did get the body gear already because I actually like that cosmetic. Oh, the star one! Wonder who that reminds me of. <laughs> Next up, we have you FP spawn star. Look at this. You can be a spooky ghost. And then these old Halloween stuff are also returning to them. So, you're here. Also, Halloween furnitures are also making a return. As you can see here. 
So are pet cosmetics. There are new ones, which are seen here. And then there's also old ones. I hope you save costume medals. So, now we are gonna talk about the event. So, the monster is Fire Element, and his name is Aura. So, I'm gonna explain the skills. Target all enemies, ability power 180, success value 100. 2 times physical damage fire. Ability power boosted by 10 for each increase in skill level. Target all enemies, reduce critical hit chance by 40% for 60 seconds. Target all allies, remove debuffs. Target yourself, cast Piercer, ignoring damage reduction and damage reflection for 60 seconds. Then the potentials are Additional use and effect, target all enemies, reduce critical hit damage by 40 for 60 seconds. Additional unison effect, target all enemies, reduces physical and magic ability power by 30 for 60 seconds. Additional unison effect, target all enemies, increases physical and magic ability power damage received by 30 for 60 seconds. Increases stats selected in stat slot 1 by 4500. Increases stats selected in stat slot 2 by 4500. So, the quest is the usual. There's a main quest, and then there's a story quest. I really like this new format of theirs, that they're adding story to the characters that they're introducing. It gives a little bit more meat to what bit of you and lore that we barely have. So, let's try one of the quests. It's the same old... Halloween background that we've had for years. I have memories of the uh, Halloween Jack event. Very first one. They're all so tiny. What the hell? Wait! There's eight monsters. What? You can fit eight monsters now. Per week. That's so weird. That's why they're not. Ah yes, they have resurrection. That's why they can survive. And now we're on the bus wave. I don't think we're gonna see. Yep, we didn't see anything from them. Oops, died too early. I reckon that's the exchange item. And the item has pressure. Then here's the prestige. Orb. Ticket. Oh, large jewel. Item Scrolls. Very fast to you. If I'm scrolling too fast, you can pause the video and then see each prestige reward. Okay, so this is the top. The card bonus. I assume the prestige are up here now. So, now we check the exchange here. So this is Nura Rion's uh, summoning scroll. I expected that because her potential is around, but we don't have info on it yet. So I'm gonna make a follow up video about that later on. 35 cost, you know you. Then this is the scroll for Aura. Got the ticket, monster ticket, large scroll of item man. That's it. So, now we have the spawn! She looks like 
one of the characters from Valkyrie Connect. So, it's a treasure spawn, and there's six uh, treasure chests. So, I'm gonna tell about the rewards first. So, the jackpot is uh, Mirodi Summoning Scroll. That's the name of the monster, Mirodi. And then, new water weapon gear and new water defense gear. So, event is fire. And then, the other prizes are treasure medals, droplets of feather, more drops of feather, awakening orb piece or awakening orb, and XP quest keys. Express quest keys. Here's how the new series of weapons and defense gear look sword, sight, gun, bat, relic, and then defense gear, and then the other defense gear. Good next. Here are the information for the weapons and defense gear. They're all this skill, except for the relic, Divine Fatal Seal, which increases your physical and magic damage and your critical hit chance when using an ability, and then you recover your own cost by 5. For the relic, it's just Seal of Health. And then the defense gear are the usual physical damage down, exit cell, magic damage down. So, they're called the Necro Heart and Nightwalkers. As for the monster, here are the following skills Target all enemies, ability power 110, success value 100, 4 times physical damage, water. Ability power boosted by 10, each increased skill level. Target all enemies, ability power 110, success value 100, 4 times magic damage, water, ability power boosted by 10 for each increased skill level. So she hits for 8 times. Target all allies, cast piercer, ignoring damage reduction and damage reduction for 15 seconds. Target all allies, reduces cooldown times, except for certain abilities by 30% for 50 seconds. Target all allies, recovers 25 cost. Target all allies decreases water elemental attack by 8 for 90 seconds. And target yourself, cast resurrection. And then the bots are increased stats selected in stats at 1 by 8,000. Target all allies increases cost recovery speed by 10 for 50 seconds. Increases stats selected in stats up by 8,000. And applies target yourself, cast resurrection to all allies. Pretty nice. Let's see the metal exchange. Here. That's how much metals you need for these items. And that'll be all for this week in Japanese Yinsuki. I'll be sure to make follow up videos for any new things to come later on, like Norian spots. And more things if they ever release them during this week. So be sure to also check out my Patreon later on for upcoming content in Japanese UL. It's thanks to everyone, especially my past and current patrons, that I'm able to continue making content for the community. I'm currently aiming to get my next subscriber milestone, so it's not often that I ask, but if you like, content I've made so far, please subscribe to my channel for more videos from me. Do I sound like an actual YouTuber now? <laughs> Alright, I hope everyone will have an awesome day. I can see, signing out.